Hello and welcome back to Tesla News. My name is Marian and I'm your host today and I'm glad to have you back here on my channel. If you're new or you didn't subscribe yet, do consider doing so and we will talk about the robo taxi fleet and why it's not going to happen in the European Union very soon and also look into Giga Berlin because there are more updates. So as we are looking into AI Driver and his footage here from San Francisco, um, we also have to discuss the hurdles that Tesla and other companies, by the way, as well have to take in the European Union. But first of all, we look into the investor deck and we also can see robo taxis and others. It appeared, yes, I didn't really notice it first, but it appeared and so we have now this product under development here, but we also know this is gonna take some time until we really gonna see the product, but maybe there's gonna be a product reveal this year by the end of the year, who knows, maybe we are lucky. Now let's talk about the data protection laws we have in the European Union. So currently there is a consumer um, organization that is filling a lawsuit against Tesla because they're saying the cameras are on, people are filmed and this is against the data protection law. Again, the question is not that they are filmed, but what is have, um, happening with the information, the data, the pictures and the film that are being taken. So this is the big issue here um, based on the data protection law. On the other hand, we are seeing here the miles driven with FSD beta. And of course, these miles driven are taking a lot of information and these information, if it's pictures, films, um, filming the entire area, um, the behavior of people around the car, this is helping the entire AI to get better, to make more information available and they can put that inside the system and make robo taxis at some times available and this is not possible if in the european union people are stopping tesla to do that so this is the issue we have currently and i'm actually very surprised other car makers which are also going into an autonomous driving and try to do that are not working with tesla against together against these laws so I think there needs to be a way to make that happen. On the other hand, I think as a European citizen, as a German citizen, I believe that the United States and China will be the one making robo taxis possible first and we and the European Union will take some more time, unfortunately. Then we are going to look into um, Giga Berlin and we here have from James Cat another time. Um, the important message is we have a gross margin that is positive selling 8,000 cars in Q2. So just imagine how much money Tesla is going to do with this factory if they are already gross margin positive with 8,000 cars. So this is going to continue to rise the production. We have lots of great news. By the way, I mentioned that in my last video, all the updates happening. We also have now people saying Model Y Long Range is going to produce right away after the ramp up is happening here on Monday again. So tomorrow we start again and the Model Y performance and Model Y Long Range are supposed to come with white interior as well. They tested that inside. It's still going to take some time. And I believe for UK customers, it could be happening soon as well that you receive your Model Y performance. I know you have been waiting for a long time. But I think now with all the updates and the upgrades, it should be happening very soon. And I believe Tesla will be very fast moving towards 2,000, 3,000 cars per week. So we have been at 1,000 cars before the upgrade and we have been higher than Austin, which takes some more time. But again, I think Giga Berlin is doing a great job here and we can expect further upgrades happening and further ramp up. Then looking into VW, yes, um, I have to talk about VW right now because the loss of these is actually a bit hit to VW. I believe it is the wrong decision to put him away. Of course, he did some mistakes, like any CEO does mistakes and maybe um, has a wrong strategy in some parts of its, his work. It is the way it is. We all know that. Also, Elon Musk is not perfect. But I think now the big question is if the new person um, that is going to come, the CEO of Porsche, 
he is actually for e-fuels. I mean, this is a disaster for um, VW. The new boss is going to um, supported e-fuels is actually in connection with the um, government and there's actually a scandal right now because they're trying to put that e-fuels comment into the contract in the government so there's like lobbying for it um, again I think that is something that is going to hurt VW in the coming months there's going to be a lot of discussion about stuff that has nothing to do with EVs and I'm not sure if that is really going to help VW to move forward. We will see. I believe it's the wrong decision. Let me know what you think about that. Then we look into the average selling price. And this is not only happening because Tesla increased the prices, but also one factor that many people forget. We have more Model Y produced than Model 3. And of course, that helps Tesla as well. Now with new factories and Model Y production, way more Model Y production than Model 3 production to increase the average selling price. That is something the trend will continue like that until Tesla is actually producing Model 3 in Europe, for example, because I think many people underestimate, yes, the demand for the Model Y is big, but guys, hold your horses once Tesla is really starting with Model 3 production, less delivery times in Europe, Holy cow, this is going to be insane. You cannot even closely imagine the demand for that. Then we have the 4680 salts. We see some insight here from Munro Life. Sandy Munro really working hard to show us what these 4680 batteries look inside. It is just great work from Tesla. So we will see more information about this topic um, in the coming weeks. I'm pretty sure about that. No more information about the behavior of cars of people receiving the new battery pack. But um, I do believe um, better no information than bad information. Then we have Tesla is aiming for same hour service with Formula One pit crew technic. Yes, they are actually trying that. But um, based on my own experience, you can get um, appointments in Germany very fast, by the way. Lots of availabilities. But if you're on site, it takes sometimes, depending on what you have with your car, three hours. I was there three hours, I think, for this um, part. It was actually pretty fine. Um, so you are sitting there and just waiting. But I think appointments are getting better and better, as, at least in Germany. Please share your experience in your country, um, how you feel Tesla service is working. It has been much worse before, I must honestly say. Um, it has been getting much better. So um, I really appreciate your time today. If you have been here before, um, thank you for your support. If you're new, do consider subscribing to my channel to not miss any more news from Europe. And um, we will see you tomorrow back here on my channel, hopefully. So thank you very much. Have a wonderful Sunday. Take care. Thank you.